one of the frequent questions on my channel almost every week is which platform is better for running AI models should it be Windows or Mac is better from Apple the choice between Windows and Mac is a tough one because for artificial intelligence work largely it depends on specific requirement of the user as both platforms have their strengths and weaknesses for example if you look at Mac or which is from Apple Macs are known for their high quality hardware and integration between software and hardware which can lead to a more stable and consistent environment Mac OS is based on Unix architecture which is generally preferred by developers and it supports most programming languages and tools used in AI and if you look at most of the videos made by youtubers out there they make it on Mac I think just due to this reason by the way I normally prefer to use Ubuntu as you might have guessed in order to download install and run these large language models I also prefer Windows over Mac due to the ease of use but then my ultimate preference is something else which I will share at the end other thing about Mac is that Apple has a strong emphasis on privacy and security and I would say that now as we speak Windows has caught up almost whereas Windows PCs are extremely compatible with a wide range of hardware and software and there are many options to choose from at various price points Windows also have extensive software support and is often the first platform to receive new software releases and updates. When it comes to AI, if your AI work requires intensive computing power, particularly with GPU acceleration, then I think first thing you need to do is to check the compatibility of your hardware with Windows or Mac. Some AI tools and their libraries may be available on one platform and not on the other and they may perform better on one platform due to the optimization. The developer community and support can vary between the two. Now having said that, for example, if I have upgraded to let's say to RTX 4090 GPU, which is running on my Windows operating system or if I'm running MacBook Pro M3 Max with around 128 unified memory then in that case I would suggest maybe just maybe um, Mac is better another thing to note down is that Macs are really cool but they are much slower than if you are not running Nvidia CUDA cards on them what Mac offers is near limitless VRAM to run the highest quality local models on a small silver brick that pulls 400 watt of power max and takes 30 minutes to grow from to go from unboxing to running an LLM now if you do the price performance calculation then Nvidia cards if they are on Windows are way better than Mac in my personal humble opinion Macs also have some limitations of what they can run as I told you uh, before I have tried running stable diffusion sometimes uh, and it really struggles on Mac I'm not saying it doesn't run but it struggles in my humble opinion also uh, Mac can only do GGUFL as far as I know Nvidia cards they have practically no limitations whether they are on Windows or on Mac so and also they're extremely fast and really only have the downside of cost and unwieldy nest to use multiple cards draw lots of power and require interesting casing situation too now another thing is that don't worry about these um, matrices too much that how many number of tokens you are getting what is the memory bandwidth because that will vary from use case to use case from model to model even from the quantization level even from the knowledge distillation and even at the parameter level because remember that these things are evolving very very quickly very quickly and every day we are seeing that there are a lot and lot innovation happening in this field so if you are using one system such as for example let's say you are using m2 ultra which is the processor in mac studio 192 gb then two m2 processor are basically jammed together there and m2 max has 400 gb per per second memory bandwidth while the m2 ultra 
has 800 GB per second memory bandwidth and double the GPU cores. The Ultra is, if you think about hardware wise, supposedly about a f which is near to 4080 but with nearly 8 times the VRAM. But still, the metal inference has issues there, so I am not that keen on that one in, and that is just my personal opinion. Now, coming back to what I would um, suggest, I would suggest that if you are a beginner and just want to try out stuff, then instead of buying your own hardware, your own GPUs or your own Mac or Windows or whatever, just simply use any public cloud like AWS Bedrock or AWS SageMaker or Google Vertex CI or Azure AI. There are a lot of stuff there. All you need to do is to rent it and then use it if you like it all good. And this is just pay as you go. But don't I really don't see any point in dumping a load of cash in expensive local solution. It might look good. It might maybe give you a satisfaction. But I think that down the road it might get obsolete very very quickly so i think it would be a poor financial decision um, so and also do you really need to buy all of those multiple 4090 4080 nvidia cards and do you really want to use them 24 by 7 I, i'm not sure i think because for example even second hand on ebay these cards are selling somewhere around like three thousand dollars to five thousand dollars us easy so it depends upon how what deal you get so in my humble opinion instead of investing yourself just rent it and let cloud provider worry about all the hardware software management and keeping them cooling heating and all that stuff that's it guys that was just my two cents on it i hope that i was able to answer a lot of questions which i get on different videos if you still have any questions or thoughts or better ways or how you are doing it, what your local setup looks like, or are you using cloud, or in which cloud, how much you are paying, just a rough figure would be good. Please share it in the comment as it would help a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.